Alrighty, today we are going to show something very interesting. We have a bifiler coil. We have ferrite with some wire around it, the LED on it, red LED. We have a function generator that is on, set to 100K. And square wave. And it's approximately 300K, a little bit over. We are running the output negative straight to the negative side and the positive to this meter. The scope is connected, this is positive and this is negative. Right now it's not connected to the coil and so This is what the generator is producing right now. Okay. Now, the way we're going to be using this bifiler coil is this wire and this wire are one wire, this wire and this wire is on the other side of the wire. What we're going to do is we're going to run positive into this side of the wire well I'm sorry positive into this side and negative into here from the function generator so I'm gonna go ahead and connect the negative if I can do it here All right. So basically what's happening is negative right here coming out of the generator is going to this side of the coil through this one wire and coming out here into the air. So essentially it's going nowhere. The positive side, this is black wire going around to this meter and out of the meter the red wire comes and goes to this side of the coil essentially the other side is left empty so these two negative and positive are not connected together electrically just through the capacitance of the coil so right now we're actually tuned to resonance of this coil at around 300 kilohertz with amp draw of zero. There will be no amp draw because they are not coupled, only magnetically. So the scope is actually showing this resonance. in the coil right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ferrite core with the LED and I'm going to insert it into the middle of the coil. And as I insert it, the light will start glowing very brightly. As you can see, it's glowing extremely bright, and the amp draw is not going to go up. It is still where it was. It does not move any. So what happened to our trace now is it has changed a little because there is inductance in the coil. I'm going to take it out now and put it back in Oops. 
So basically, we're getting resonance and induction in this coil. Hope this made sense. Gonna um, lift it, put it back in. I'll shine at the meter so you can tell I'm lifting it. Lifting it, put it back in. You can see there is no change in amperage at all. It is resonating at the right frequency in order for it to glow. <clears throat> now having a higher voltage generator like this with the same concept should be able to prove what this really can do but that would be another video for another day thanks for watching